This video is going to go over the potential lantern cores for five video game mascots. Now, everyone on this list is chosen because of how famous a character they are and that they are the iconic faces of their respective franchises. Now, before we begin, for those who don't already know, Lantern Corps are organizations that have rings. Now, these rings give their wearers superpowers, and they're powered by different emotions. And in order to wield a power ring, you have to have a strong connection to the emotion that powers it. Now, the different Lantern Corps are fear, love, avarice, will, hope, compassion, and rage. And there are also two other Lantern Corps, the Black Lantern Corps of Death and the White Lantern Corps of Life. And there is a new Lantern Corps that is the Ultraviolet Light. Though no one knows exactly what emotion powers this particular Lantern Corps, it is believed to be powered by shame. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Kratos. Now, when it comes to Kratos Lantern Corps, there is a very obvious choice. And that is, of course, the Red Lantern Corps of Rage. A Lantern Corps that's dedicated not only to anger, but their whole mandate is to get revenge on those who deserve it. And Kratos is all about revenge. Vengeance, my creed. Do not deny me my revenge! You know I seek revenge on Zeus. I will have my revenge! My vengeance ends now. So there really is no other choice than the Red Lanterns. Or at least for the original God of War set in the Greek mythology. But for the new God of War that has moved into Norse mythology, well, that's a different story. Yes, Kratos definitely still has huge amounts of rage. In fact, there's actually a super move that increases Kratos' strength in the game that is literally called Spartan Rage. So he definitely qualifies for this ring. But I think this Kratos would reject the ring if it was offered to him. You see, this Kratos is trying to move on with his life and start anew, putting his past behind him and focusing on the future of raising his son. And it's for that reason that I think he belongs in the Lands and Core of Hope as he has hoped that he can move on and get over his past with his new family, namely his son Atreus. In fact, even in the end of the God of War 3 game, Kratos embraces hope, and it's actually the power of hope that finally allows him to defeat Zeus once and for all. You gained the strength that Zeus could never destroy, a strength great enough to overcome fear. Locked deep inside of you, Kratos, is hope. And so him embracing his hope and then starting a new life in Norway, or at least in Norse mythology, signifies to me that he belongs in the Blue Lantern Corps, and that that is the direction that he wants his new life to go in. So I think this is the best core for him, as it makes the most sense. Pac-Man. Now, this classic mascot of video games can only belong in one of the Lantern Corps, and that is, of course, the Orange Lantern Corps of Avarice. All Pac-Man does is consume. All he exists to do is to devour more and more. He is the very essence of greed and avarice. Heck, he even managed to find a way to devour the bodies of ghosts, all to ensure that he can acquire as much as possible. And when he has gathered as much as he can, he just starts over again on a new level and begins again, never ceasing in his quest to acquire more and more, for no apparent reason other than to satiate his own sense of greed. He is literally the perfect candidate for the Orange Lanterns, as he is practically the personification of Avarice. And that is why he belongs in that Lantern Corps, and no other. Master Chief Now, Master Chief is a character that has never really expressed great amounts of emotion. He is a character who is obsessed and controlled by his sense of duty, to do what is right no matter what. And though there was a great amount of emotions relating to Cortana's death, and then her later rebirth, when she asked him to betray his duty for her, he still didn't give in to his feelings for her, and he did the right thing. So to me, that says that he can only belong in the Lantern Corps of Will. Master Chief is a loyal and outstanding soldier, who does whatever he can to help those around him, no matter the cost to himself. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity, whatever the cost. And so I really can't see him being in any other Lantern Corps. The willpower lands and core just makes perfect sense for him. Although with that being said, I do think there could be an argument made from being in the love lands and core, in part because of his sense of caring for others, but mainly because the most emotion we have ever seen from him relates to his love for Cortana. But even though he does have these feelings for her, in the end of Halo 5, he is prepared to sacrifice her to do the right thing, much as he had to do at the end of Halo 2. 
So I think his willpower overpowers his love and makes it clear that he belongs in the Green Lantern Corps. And of course, a green uniform would match his armor perfectly. In fact, I'd love to see a matchup of a proper Master Chief Green Lantern Corps armor. And if you could see it in a comic or better yet, a video game where he actually gets the ring, well, that would just be amazing. Mario. Mario is a man of few words. He's the type of person who prefers for his actions to show his character rather than his conversational skills. And when you analyze his actions, his Lantern Corps actually becomes very clear. Yes, he is fearless and never gives up, which does give him some options with the different lands and cores he could be in. But there is one overwhelming feature of his character and his games that cannot be denied. And that is that everything he ever does is all to protect his girlfriend, Princess Peach. She is constantly getting kidnapped for some reason or another, and Mario spends the entire game fighting insane odds to rescue her going to lengths that no one would ever go to for another person, except if they were deeply in love with them. And even then, a lot of people's love doesn't extend this far, but Mario's does. So really, the only choice is the lands and core of love, because anyone who will go to the extremes that he does for his woman has to have a truly overwhelming amount of love inside of them. So much so that there really is no other option than the Star Sapphire lands and core. And although the members of this core are usually all female, I think they'll make an exception for someone who embodies true love like Mario does. Sonic. Now, for me, there's only one choice for Sonic, the Hope Lantern Corps. Though he does, of course, possess a strong willpower, it really has to be Hope. Heck, he's even blue, so it's like he's made for this Lantern Corps. But it goes deeper than that. Sonic is the embodiment of Hope in his universe. He inspires all those around him, from his close friends, Tails and Knuckles, to the entire world. And whenever a Dr. Robotnik or Dr. Eggman has an evil plot, Sonic will always be there to beat him. And no matter how hopeless the situation may seem, he doesn't give up. As has been shown when he's been fighting literal gods, and he still fights and wins. And even in the latest Sonic game, when the world has been conquered thanks to Infinity, Sonic is the only one who never gives up hope, not even for a second. And it's because of this that he is able to rally the rebels and inspire the troops to move forwards towards victory. Even though the rebels had all but given up when Sonic had gone missing. Eggman's army is unstoppable! Without Sonic, the people are losing hope and giving in to despair! But as soon as he came back, they were inspired once more and able to turn the tide of war. And that's why the Blue Lantern Corps is the only choice for Sonic, because he all but radiates hope. And that is five video game mascots and the Lantern Corps that they belong in. Do you agree with my choices? Or do you think that they belong in different Lantern Corps altogether? Be sure to let us know in the comments, along with any other video game mascots whose Lantern Corps you'd like to see discussed in future videos. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.